As she walks into work today, Malia Willis locks the door behind her with one question going through her mind. Why do you put so much energy towards trying to destroy something that does nothing but build the community up and focus on nothing but positive things? Sometime overnight, someone smashed the glass door here. It's the third incident in the past nine months. In October, someone threw Molotov cocktails at the building. Three months later, racist images were scrawled on the wall. It's unclear who did this or why, but Black Coffee Northwest is an outspoken supporter of the Black Lives Matter movement, and the Black-owned business has had trouble with customers in the past. I've been called a few names. I've been called plenty of things, but I mean, I mean, I try to teach my girls and my staff, you know, things like this are going to happen, but you stay professional. The coffee shop opened last October. It employs youth of color to empower them to one day open businesses of their own. Above all, it's supposed to be a safe space. Malia considers it her second home and takes it personally when anyone attacks it. Yeah, on the outside, people write on it, people try and break it, but it's still my house, it's still my home, it's still here, still standing. Still growing, still getting bigger, still getting better. And that's, that's all I could hope for. Rather than shrinking from the situation, the owners are planning to open a second location. Malia says no one at the shop will be intimidated and black coffee will only grow stronger. We're always gonna keep pushing. We're always gonna keep pushing issues like this because this happens way too often. Surveillance cameras are installed here, but at this point, it's unclear whether they were operational at the time of vandalism. Live in Shoreline, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.